Hi, this is Steve from SewingGold.com and I'm going to do a video on how to adjust the stitch regulator on this uh, Taxo GC6-6, which is going to be the same thing as a typical GC6-6, GC6 not the GC6-7-D that we also stock, which was the same as the Taxo T111-155. Okay, so this is on the Taxo GC6-6. Okay, stitch regulator. I have the stitch regulator set to make no stitch. And what's weird is my stitch regulator is set a little below four. I know it's not going to make a stitch because my reverse lever doesn't move. So if we look over here at my needle, not making stitch, um, it's just going to sew in one place. That's not a good thing. So it's on zero technically. I want to adjust this, okay? So I want my, to adjust this, I want this on like zero, no stitch, okay? This is locked. I'm going to take and hold this really tight, the stitch regulator, and I'm going to grab a flathead screwdriver, put it in here, and I'm going to loosen this. Okay. Now, for this video, I only want you to loosen this maybe three turns, okay? And then you'll be able to move this around. I do want to show you something, so I'm going to take it out. But remember, don't do it, I'm, don't take this out, but I want to show you something. So just do that three turns. Okay, I'm going to take this off. All right, took it off. I don't want you to take this piece out. All right. You see it's got like a little bit of a bevel on each side. That needs to be sticking out facing you. Okay, on the other side it's flat that goes inside the machine. If you flip this, the stitch regulator is not going to stop and it's just going to keep spinning. Okay, because inside the stitch regulator there's a little metal piece here that makes it stop so you can't go past 10. No matter what you do, you're not supposed to go past 10. So if you if you do go past 10, you could have broken this piece off or you have this in backwards. Okay, so I'm going to stick it back in there. There's probably a spring load, which there is, behind it. Be careful not to lose the spring. So now I'm going to put this back on. It's not going to really matter where I put it right this second, because I'm going to show you where I had it. Excuse my hands for a second. So putting this back on, and then I'm going to go back out and do that three turns again. So I just tighten this anywhere. I didn't ma care where I put it. Tighten it a few, un or loosen it a few times. So now I can actually turn this thing. Reverse lever's not moving, so I know it's not really doing anything. Okay, so what I want to do is, where this is set from the factory is around two. Okay, I want you to set this so your, your zero, technically, would be at two. I'm going to make sure this is moving, so let me tighten this back up for a sec. Remember, you don't want the lever to be moving when you're doing this. Okay, so I'm going to put this all the way. So now my reverse lever is nice and tight. Mine is technically on around two. I can move it ever so slightly. Oops. Okay. Okay, I'm putting it on two. Reverse lever is not moving. Now I'm going to tighten this back up. Okay. Same thing, we look over to the needle over here, not feeding. Now, when I move this, we could see it's tied in with the reverse here, okay? See, reverse is moving now, it's not stuck in one place, okay? This is on 10, now we're on the absolute longest stitch we're going to be able to do. Now it's back to where it was set from the factory. So that's your range, okay? So if I set it to an 8, it's going to do an 8. And you can see the reverse lever doesn't go up quite as much because if it's on 10, you can see it moves, right? So it's all tied in together, okay? And I don't want to go past 10. So if it does go past 10, 
check and make sure that that little piece inside there is in the correct way and make sure it's even there, okay? If you have any questions about this video, I just leave a message below. I am Steve from SewingGold.com. And actually, Jose came up with this. He actually showed me how to do this uh, before I did this because on my own, without Jose, I don't know what I'm doing as much. So Jose helped me do this. He figured this out uh, for you guys. And like I said, if you have any comments, put them below. If you have any pointers, feel free to put them below. We will uh, we'll look at them all, and then we will respond. Thank you.